So I'm now joined by Carol Ellenson, the Hot Diggity Dogs president. Now, Carol, can you just tell us a little bit how this whole thing got started? Well, it started uh, in 1998. A bunch of us people got together. Uh, we had heard about this new sport, agility, and we thought we'd get out and have some fun with our dogs. Mm -hmm. So we kind of all got our pieces of equipment that we had together and started practicing and just, just having fun with our dogs. Mm -hmm. Then, um, a couple of years later, we decided to incorporate our name, which is the Hot Diggity Dogs, so that nobody else could have it. Mm -hmm. And we started doing demos because we got pretty good. Mm -hmm. And we did sometimes 15 to 20 demos all through the summer. Uh, in 2000, I'm trying to think, three, I think it was, we decided to have an ADAC trial. Mm -hmm. And we now have two, one in October, one in May and one in October, where people can come and run courses and... Uh, get a title or get a qualifying score. And what sorts of things are these dogs uh, doing here throughout the course? Throughout the course now they have to, as they're going over the bridge, they have to run over top down and hit that yellow spot mm -hmm. and wait until you tell them to go. They have to be able to do the equipment as you point to it. They go do switches. The weave poles, as you see behind us, is one of the hardest pieces, and that takes quite a while. And when they're a novice dog, they do six. When they're an elite, open and elite dog, they do 12. So they, they, it's, a, it's a long process for them to learn this, but they, the dogs have a hoot. They love it. This is a very addictive sport. Yep. Once you try it, you got to do it. You got to compete. And what's the process like, you know, from kind of beginning to end, as you, you would say, uh, to train these dogs to, to be able to do such a thing? Well, we like to start our puppies just by doing baby things. We call them babies. Uh, they do no jumping. Mm -hmm. They do no weave poles, and they don't go up on the big equipment. Everything is low. They go through hoops. They go through the jump stanchers right there, but no jumps. Yep. Uh, we teach them to sit, down, come, wait, walk on both sides, and just into us, bond to us, just baby things. No, nothing uh, that would hurt them until they're a little older. Now, what sorts of advice for those at home with possibly a new puppy or anything like that, in regards to training, would you give to the folks at home? I would suggest you find a good trainer and you take your puppy to puppy class, get them socialized with other puppies and people. Uh, once you finish puppy classes, I would go to household, which is a little more in depth. Um, get your puppy out. And then once it's a little bit older, about six months, we will start an agility dog, but just very small things. But if you have all those things, uh, obedience, it makes it so much easier for you and the puppy. Go, 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 go. go. 